going on, Dylan? My name's Kyle. We just wanted to reach out and make you a video that can bring you and your business some value. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can personally optimize your website to where you can drive in more traffic and generate more leads for your business. I do have three tips that I'm going to share with you today. My first tip is the importance of content and keywords. Now, Google doesn't care about how awesome websites look. They care about what kind of content's on the page. Google likes to see a lot of content, and the websites with the most content are going to be the ones with the most authority on the topic. Google wants to give its users the best experience possible by ensuring it has everything that they need when they go to that website. So I recommend that you have at least a minimum of 1,500 words of content on your home page alone. And just as important it is that you need buyer intent keywords inside the content. And what I mean by buyer intent keywords, I mean by it's, it's what people are searching for in the Google search bar. So when, when Google scans your page, they find these keywords and they can rank you accordingly. So we use this tool called AREFs. Um, you might be familiar with it. It buys data from Google. One of the features that allows us to search for these keywords. And I, I see you're a handyman. So I just looked up handyman Albuquerque really quick. You have Handyman Albuquerque being searched 450 times a month. Handyman Albuquerque NM being searched 150 times a month. I mean, just these four keywords here is being searched 730 times a month. And I saw one of the niches that you do is, is painting, so I just, I just picked one, pulled it up. I mean, here you have Painters Albuquerque 450 times a month. Exterior Painters Albuquerque, New Mexico 100 times a month. Just these five keywords being searched 800 times a month by potential clients in the Albuquerque area there's all sorts of keywords that you can find you can find your keywords for every single service that you do and even service areas if you go right outside of albuquerque as well but you want to find keywords that are on the local level you want to find keywords that are in the areas that you search you really don't want to have keywords that that you're competing on a national level because well you're just you're in albuquerque so you want to find keywords that are albuquerque keywords now my next my next tip or one other thing you can do with these keywords is making sure that all your pictures are saved correctly. So this is good. You have Dylan the Handyman, Handyman Services, Repair, Repair and Maintenance. I would definitely throw Albuquerque in there. That way Google knows that you're in Albuquerque. Um, but all your pictures I would I would save, you know, with your with your name, Dylan the Handyman, and with the buyer intent keyword. So uh, painting exterior Albuquerque. Dylan the Handyman, painting exterior Albuquerque. New Mexico or however you want to do it that way when Google scans your page they find these keywords and they can rank you accordingly for that my second tip is backlinks backlinks are also just as important as content and keywords it's what gives your website power it's what gets you found on Google backlinks are links throughout the web that when clicked on bring the user back to your website it's almost like having a popularity contest and the person with the most backlinks wins however Google's leaning towards more quality versus quantity Google's actually looking at other sites that are pointing at you and vouching for you, basically stating that you are a trustworthy company and that you do offer a great service. Not all backlinks are created equal. Like I said, they, Google wants to see backlinks coming from, say, other home improvement websites, handyman websites, bathroom remodeling websites, you know, websites that are relevant to you, that have links linking people back to your website. Google doesn't want to see these backlinks coming from, say, Pizza Hut, because, well, you're not a food company, so the more relevant, the better. Now, we also use AREFs to see what's going on behind the scenes, what kind of numbers these websites are doing. There are free tools that you can use. If you just Google Backlink Checker, Keyword Finder, you can find the free tools you need to be able to do this yourself. So right now, see, you have a GoDaddy website, which you're doing a good job. It's, it's really nicely laid out. It is, it is very easy to navigate. So you have a URL rating. Um, that's how powerful the website is. This is your domain rating. This is how trustworthy the website is. Um, zero organic traffic coming onto the website each month. Google's only finding one buyer intent keyword throughout your whole website. You have three refrain domains giving you a total of three backlinks. Now, I just pulled up the Google search bar, and I, and I typed in um, Handyman and Albuquerque. As you can see, this guy has, has a good amount of content. He has at least over a 1,000 words of content on his home page. And he seems to do a lot of the same jobs that you do as well. And as you can see inside of his content, he has these keywords that I was discussing. Handyman services in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Handyman in Albuquerque. Al Handyman Albuquerque. So Google's finding him for this Handyman Albuquerque. And they're ranking him in the top spot for that. They're ranking him in the top spot because he has his content keywords 
and he has his backlinks in place as well. So this is his website here. He has a URL rating of 19, the power, domain rating of 12, uh, the trust factor. And when you add backlinks to your website, you want to shoot for a ratio of one between these two numbers. So this guy has decent backlinks that he's throwing at his website. He has around 320 people come onto the website through an organic search each month. And if I take a, you know, a conservative number, 10% of that's a job lead, that's 32 job leads a month, just for being found for handyman keywords. He has 1,600 organic keywords throughout the website. He has 480 referring domains, giving him a total of 4,320 backlinks. Now, these backlinks are good enough to rank his website to the top for handyman. It's good enough to do the same for you as well, as long as you have your content and keywords in order. So how do you get these backlinks? Just go into the referring domains. And each and every one of these websites here has a link linking people back to his website. And you can do the exact same thing with yours. Call it the copycat method. You just go into each individual website. Some you just might have to create a profile. And you can add your website that way. Others you might have to go to the contact us, email the owner, and they might hit you back with a small fee to be able to advertise on their website. Now my last tip for you is get to the number one spot in the Google Map Pack. And that's this area here. My opinion is one of the best spots to be in. If you're anything like me and you're trying to find a service that you've never used before, you're most likely going to use Google to search for it. So I'm in Albuquerque and I, and I need a handyman. I need to have some little bit of electrical work, plumbing work I need done. So, you know, I might search for handyman Albuquerque. This is going to be the first thing that I see. Immediately, let me see handyman services of Albuquerque. 40 reviews, 4.4 stars. You know, probably going to call these people first. So how do you get to this spot here? You need more citations than them. All a citation is is your business name, your business address, and your business phone number listed in directories throughout the web. Some examples of a directory would be places like Yelp, White Pages, Yellow Pages, Better Business Bureau, even social media is considered a directory nowadays. So, Dylan, I hope this video was helpful for you. You know, just a quick recap. According to your market, put, put 1,500 words, 2,000 words of content on your homepage with those buyer intent keywords so Google can find you. Get all the backlinks your competition has and get them linking back to you. And finally, add your business name, your business address, and your business phone number, all spelled exactly the same, all across the internet, and more directories than your competition has. If you follow these three tips, you will generate more traffic to your website, and it will generate more leads for your business. Again, I do hope this video is helpful. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, you're more than welcome to reach out to us. Our phone number is 480-605-0508. Thanks for watching.